Hello. Today I will be talking about movie review number 408. And this movie is called Spider-Man 3 No Way Home. This is a 2021 movie directed by John Watts. Director of Homecoming and Far From Home. This is a Sony Pictures, Columbia Pictures, and Marvel Studios film that is part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 4. It stars Tom Holland as Peter Parker as Spider Man. Um, I saw this movie on December 23rd, 2021, at Regal Cinema 16 in Deerfield Town Center in Mason, Ohio, and the RPS Auditorium. And before I begin, I like to point out that I will not talk about any spoilers in the movie. Just to let you guys know. But this was an awesome movie. Out of all the Marvel, Marvel things I saw this year, this is probably my favorite one. I really enjoyed this film. So this film takes place right after the events of Far From Home. When Mysterio tells the whole world that Spider-Man is Peter Parker. So with Spider-Man's identity now revealed, our friendly neighborhood web streamer is unmasked and no longer able to separate his normal wife as Peter Parker from the high stakes of being a superhero. When Peter asks for help from Doctor Strange, the stakes become even more dangerous, forcing him to discover what it truly means to be Spider-Man. So, after Far From Home was released, there was a little bit of a disagreement between Sony and Marvel that led to a breakup. Eventually, they got back to Devil to we negotiate a deal to do a third Spider-Man movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And this is no way home. So the film takes place immediately after Fall From Home, where people think Spider-Man is a criminal. People think that Spider-Man killed Mysterio. His identity is unmasked for the first time. And his friends and family are then pressured by the public on what happened and Peter is just trying to figure out what to do to fist this so he decides to go to Doctor Strange for help Doctor Strange has a spell that can undo what Mysterio did however things go wrong with the spell and consequences are, are coming in other words it opened the multiverse, causing several villains to reappear, like Dr. Octopus, Green Goblin, and Electro. And Peter Parker must figure out how to how to bring them bring these villains back to those universes and to fist this. But he also must discover what it truly means to be Spider-Man. What it truly means to have the responsibility of being a hero. And that is what this film entails. Right, we saw how Peter Parker wanted to be Spider-Man in Homecoming, has more responsibilities for Far From Home. But No Way Home definitely sets the ground work for how Peter Parker is Spider-Man. And it is really a fantastic film. And I like that several stars, like William Dafoe is Green Goblin, Alfred Morena is Dr. Octopus. Jamie Fox is a retro. I like the fact for that the villains are played by the same actors that they played in the 
either the original Spider-Man trilogy directed by Sam Raimi or the two Spider or the two amazing Spider-Man films directed by Mark Webb. It was really neat to see those films of them played by the same actors. And the stakes were even higher with this movie. And this movie is pretty long. It's not as long as Internals or Avengers Endgame. But this movie is close to two and a half hours. And like I said, um Tom Holland reprises his role as Spider Man, Zendaya is MJ. Benedict Cumberbatch is Doctor Strange, and many other actors and actresses are in it. Right, Mauricio Tome is Aunt May, Jacob Battalion, Baton, Baton is Ned Reeds, and even J.K. Cinnamons plays uh, the guy from the Dairy Bugle, J. Jonah Jameson, and it was really neat to see that. And it definitely will be interesting to see what will happen in future installments because I have heard they might make a Spider-Man 4. So we will have to see. Amy Pascal and Kevin Feige have definitely want to make a Spider-Man 4, so we will see what happens. But go check this out. Go check this movie out, guys. This might be the first movie since Star Wars 9 to hit the billion dollar mark. So that is incredible. So that is my movie review of Spider-Man 3 No Way Home. Please stay tuned for my next movie review. Alright, goodbye.